Yeah, I'm on a time. But you on a hot date? No, I'm talking about I'm just talking about Listen, 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 man. I just, I just don't understand your take on natural hair, bro. I just don't get what's wrong. What's wrong with <laughs> What's wrong with the natural epidemic? You know what I'm saying? What's wrong with it? Like, I don't get what's your issue. Well, I, I don't like, I, I, I'm, I'm not a fan of natural hair. I just don't, I, I'm not a fan. Like, for like, the European standards of beauty, Afro being pulled off really sexy since Foxy Brown, or uh, maybe a side of secure cord. <laughs> Uh, so you I'm said you say no. You said you broke up with a girl because you decided she decided to go natural. No, I know somebody who did that very close to me, very very close to me, very almost like family. And what was their reason? Because she was looking crazy with that little bitty ass nappy afro and shit. That little bitty ass nappy yeah, afro. But Every chick when they start getting natural hair, they get some extra big earrings and start putting some color eyeshadow on. Bitch, get out of here! Like your shit still nappy, like. And no, no, no. Like they want the botch. I'm gonna have huh? to. I'm gonna cut you right there. I gotta stick up for all women when I say, "What about the Spanish women?" And what about you know the Caucasian from the You're from the mountains of Caucasus? That they what about when they wake up? Their hair is natural. How come a lot of men would accept that, but won't accept our Nubian melanin melanin queens? I don't understand that. And uh, I mean, it, there's two different types of natural. Like you don't have to have processed hair. You know what I mean? Like you cannot process your hair. I think that's what you know. People, you know, with the whole natural, non-natural argument is using perms and stuff like that. Like you don't have to process your hair and put a perm in and nothing like that. But you know what I mean? I'm not okay. Let me just say this: I'm not a fan of little bitty afros. I'm not a fan of little bitty afros. On any type of chick, what if she light skinned it with blue eye, green eyes, and she has freckles? And I don't know, like it, you, no, you don't. Like, either you gonna have, either a chick gonna have the old school Tony Braxton like say almost. I'm talking about the little bitty. That was Dax. Afro, that was water and Dax. Times, that was water Afro. and Dax. I'm, I'm not uh, gonna sit up here and let you use. Uh, Tony Braxton, a 90s hairstyle to, to, to set the bar to, to compare black women to when Tony Braxton was using Dax and water. That was Dax and water. You remember oh, Dax? God, this, nigga, this nigga on his Al Sharpton shit tonight. <laughs> I, <laughs> no, because I'm not going to sit here and let you, you let you. You, you, at, hey, you, get, you ambulance chasing the support of, of nappy headed black women. That's what you're doing, ambulance chasing. Can I ask you a question, but the botch? Can I ask you a question? What, what, what color is your woman now, brother? <laughs> That's none of your goddamn business. Yeah. I got a, I got a beautiful uh, a ginger. Uh, you got a ginger. Queen. You got a ginger. A who? A what queen? <laughs> oh. I got, I got a, a beautiful thing, brother. We all come from Africa. Listen. First of all, right? Listen, no, 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 no. I want to do a full circle. I, I just want to conclude what you saying. So you saying you don't care what how she look, if she light skin, dark skin, blue eyes, if she has a, a, a small afro to her, she's just not beautiful to you. Is that what you saying? I mean, honestly, it's about like my aesthetic palette. Like I don't like the little nappy afro. I just don't like it. Okay, that's it's fair. It's nothing for me to grab on. Okay. Little masculine, like okay. you wearing big earrings to try to offset the fact that you just chopped all your fucking hair off looking crazy. Okay. I see white chicks with a short haircut that look crazy. Black chicks, Spanish chicks, you know what I mean? Like, I prefer a little length. I mean, I'm not saying you gotta get a perm or nothing like that. I just don't like the little curly afro shit. This shit looks, I don't like you know, it. You know what I don't like? The wigs. I don't like the wigs. What does you? I don't like the wigs. I, I don't like it. You got these chicks, they fucking, they walking around all day. They don't have a car. They walking around, they sweating underneath that because you got the stocking cap on. Then they got the wig on top. They sweating, they working out. You feel what I'm saying? Then you pick them up because you're like, okay, I see this little John. You, you pull over, yo, hop in. They hop in and you smell uh, cheese. Or you smell, you smell burnt hair or just something like burnt cheese. No, you smell, you smell uh, like, when your mother used to take off her stockings after church 
And you are cut the ankles off because you want it as a spot cap. But that's you want to use it as a wave cap. Yeah. Yeah, you want it a wave cap. It smell like uh, stock pantyhose and uh, church all day church feet. That's just, that's just like. You ain't a fan of wigs either, right? Nah, but I'd rather have a wig than a fucking uh, a nah. little bitty afro. Nah, I disagree. I, I, I disagree 100%. You said you were like a wig over an afro? What about these fronts? Where's your techno lace fronts? Lace fronts? A good lace front, you can't tell. You know what I'm saying? I don't like the little hoodie lace fronts, though. I don't like them. You know what I'm saying? Hey, being what? that you light skin and you got those feminine features, like, you probably would look bomb as hell with a lace front, bro. But I ain't saying, like, that on no gay shit. What I'm saying is, like, like just bring the ponytail back. Like, on some Steven Cigar shit. Like, you should get a lace front. Put that bitch in the since you're doing boxing and martial arts now. Get a lace front, mm -hmm. put a little band, a uh, uh, rubber band around that bitch on some smoke, like the black Steven Seagal, and then you should just rock out one nigga. Like you, you got the features for it, cause you got high cheekbones. When you smile, your eyes look kind of chinky and shit. Like you look glazed in a little bit. Like you could pull the, you could bring the ponytail back, my nigga. Can I ask you a question? Sure, sure. What kind of gas you smoking over there? This nigga drinking travel size wine, smoking Reggie, but telling everybody it's gas. And then telling me I need to get a motherfucking lace front. This is what you telling me right now. No, I'm telling you bring the ponytail, ponytail back for the culture, my nigga. Listen, what about the niggas? Fuck, we talking about women. What about the niggas who never take off their hats? How about that? How about the niggas who's catfishing women all over America? All over the world in that case. I mean, sooner or later they gotta take their hat off, though. And they look like, like a whole I'm different nigga. Like, I, a boy nigga should have an exquisite hat collection. I'm bored, I got a crazy hat collection, but I mean, you gotta own this shit. You know what I mean? Hey, on the first date, fun. on the first date, do you meet a girl with your hat or without your hat? I mean, first date? First date, yeah. I mean, I think that... That's a really good question. It is. Man. It is. That's a really good Answer question. Answer the motherfucking me, question. Um, I think in between the first date, like when I bathed and in between the first date, mm -hmm. like she would have gotten pictures where she on board. Like I'm not trying to hide the fact that I'm bored. I just not. I, I rock hats. I'm an eighties baby. I rock hats. I feel like you didn't answer the question. So on the first date though. <laughs> Would you wear a hat? I, or mean, not? I would wear. I would wear a hat if I was just out and about, my nigga. Like it's not about <laughs> wearing a hat because I'm on the first day. Blood not answering the question. Oh my god. Would you wear a hat on the first date? Sam, I'm saying like I would wear a hat regardless. Why do I feel like you're not answering the question? It's just to I me. Don't know. Why you feel like, why you <laughs> I just feel like, like you're not answering the motherfucking say, question. Why do you feel like that? Cause I asked you a, a direct question and you didn't haven't gave me a direct answer. Do you wear a hat on the first date? Not every first date. Not every first date. Question. Okay. That, Cause that's a good question, right? Do you bring a condom on the first date? Uh no, but this one time, like I thought I was about to get some pussy, mm -hmm. and we was laying in the bed, mm -hmm. and you know she was ready too, so. Mm -hmm. I, I had just went in her pillowcase because for some reason she took my pillow. Mm -hmm. So we switched pillows. So I kept condoms in my pillowcase, right? Okay. So I, I had to reach over her and go in her pillowcase to get the condoms. And she got mad. She felt offended over that. Like, she felt like I was too presumptuous. Like, I just knew I was going to get the pussy. Like, she would have rather had me stop all the action. You know what I mean? Get up. The go simple to the fact drawer. the simple fact that you keeping condoms in your pillowcase further tells me that you the type of nigga that get gas station dick pills. <laughs> I don't think those things are synonymous. Is my brother. presumption I, is I my presumption money, correct? There's a there's a very good explanation for condoms in the pillowcase. The choir minds would like to know. Alright, well here it goes. Go so did I, did I say that right? Inquiring minds? I said that right. Go ahead. Inquiring minds were like, yeah, you said that right. Because you know, you, you graduated, you got the, you graduated Kuma Luminati in that uh, community college that you motherfucking went to. This nigga think he better than me, but go ahead. 
You keep condoms in the pillowcase and you get gas station dick pills. Why put a, uh-huh. I said you kissing on y'all in the groove, all okay. lights are green. Okay. Why fuck up the mojo by saying, hold on, let me grab a rubber, getting up and going to the drawer, grabbing the rubber, tearing the rubber off, and then coming back trying to start the uh the energy energy that y'all had before. That's how uh, that's how I know you would degenerate. Time. That's how I know you would degenerate. Why wouldn't you have a nightstand? That's how I know you got a, a fucking <laughs> cot and a futon, and you, you don't even gotta stop. And you don't even have a else. bed. You don't even have a real bed. You got a futon on, and then you instead of having a nice stand, you got an old Timberland box that you put your phone and your wallet on top of. That's the type of nigga you is, and then you disrespect the black women. Fuck you. Me nice.